Hello. So we went to this. It's called Bit Summit. It's badass. It was pretty good. They yeah. had a lot of games. A lot of games. For y'all not in the know, it is an Kyoto Indie Festival for indie video games. This was the fifth one, hence the name, a fifth. It's blurry. Let me just hit this button right here. It's still blurry. Oh, it's not blurry anymore. That's a fifth of Bit Summit. That's, that's some crazy. I'll show you what we don't have a fifth of. It's blurry. Let me just fix that. I, I, I'm not going to fix it. So we went to this. There were a lot of people there. Lots of people. And a lot of developers with their uh, independent games and their beautiful displays and all the people came to play the games and Nintendo was there and Xbox was there and Twitch was there and everyone was there. Oculus was there. Oculus was there. Devolver was there. Devolver Digital. You said Kickstarter? Kickstarter, Kickstarter was there. Was there yeah. yeah. But just, just to give you some numbers, there were exactly 101 exhibitors. So check out what we saw right here, right now.
So Colton, what kind of games did uh, you enjoy at Bit Summit this year? Earth Atlantis was badass. It was really cool. It. Uh, this is a side-scrolling shooter. It's like looking like a cartographer's sketchbook or something the whole time. Uh, really nifty. Uh, just a whole new way to take a genre that I hold near and dear to my heart to a whole nother level. Yes. So go check it out. Uh, Owlboy looked really good. I liked Owlboy. Owlboy looked very nifty. That game took forever to make, apparently, and it paid off. It shows, definitely. It, it shows, mm -hmm. yeah. They put some work into that. Uh, I got to play a, a little game called Wash Bosh? Wash Bash? But you're a little... Your little retro washing machine, and you pick up little T-shirts, and it was it was a little hard, but it was um, it was really fun. So uh, that was one I just felt like was worth a mention. Uh, Rival Heroes. We played that together. It yeah. was like a uh, top-down vertical shooter, where you're on either side of the screen, and kind of like Tetris Attack or something, or any puzzle fighter game like. The, depending on what you're doing on your side of the screen, it sends projectiles and other things to your opponent's side to kind of slow them down or impede their progress or outright kill them. Competitive. Very competitive. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, so what about uh, uh, Name Suta? It's a game, right? Where uh, you train your slug. Like some people have, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of uh, Star Horse? Or uh, any of um, like uh, games where you raise your. Um... What other games do that? Do you know? You you raise something, Pokemon, Tomodachi. And you I fight don't know. them, but then you don't actually fight them in Namasuta. You race them, and then you get like coins or points or something. Because let me tell you, the most riveting race I've ever seen in my life is between two snails. <laughs> Slugs, to be exact. Sorry. Completely different. Well, they don't have shells. I think that's well. There's other differences, but um, I'm not a, I'm they not were a biologist. Snails, actually, they were snails. So never mind. I was totally right about the snail metaphor. Whoop! It's not a metaphor. It's a direct. It's not even a metaphor. Anyway, anyway, uh, Giga Wrecker was there. Giga Wrecker looked really good. I didn't play that one. Sorry. I didn't play it either. But didn't even see. I it. stared at it for a while. I didn't even see it. I took it. some video footage of it. And in that case, I will see it. All right. Uh, there was another game out there. It was really cool. It was in the vein of Dark Souls, but it was a top-down uh, game. Uh, unsold. Unsold. Not like like an unsold copy of a VHS. Nobody bought it! So, unsold. It's in the vein of, like... Well, Dark Souls already said that. So, it's like Hyperlight Drifter, top-down... You have like a super slay dash move you can do. You cut through enemies. They fight back. They're really strong. It was really beautifully made. Like the art direction was just wonderful. And so was the music. And so was the graphic design. And so was the gameplay. And it was all by one guy. <sighs> it's a pretty good one, huh? Yeah. Did you, get, did you get a chance to play it? No, I did not. Primarily because there was always someone just sitting there playing it constantly. Uh, always keep your demo short so that everyone gets a chance to play. Yeah. Because I didn't get to play. I'm sure it's on Steam. I'll have to go check it out. On Steam. If it's on there. Which I'm sure it is. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Next year, I think that we're going to go much earlier. Yes. Yeah. We're going to go early. And we're going to see Erethine and play Erethine. All right. On a closing note, I don't have a closing note. Welcome to the first video. We know what we're doing. No, we don't.